Hey guys, Michael here with Conquest Overland coming to you with an in-depth walk around and first look at the brand new updated model of the iCamper SkyCamp 3.0 Mini. As many of you guys know, I'm an employee at iCamper, and as such, not only did I want to showcase this brand new tent to you, but also kind of go over the details of what you guys will be seeing on all future episodes as this will be our brand new home. Uh, as you guys know, the tent has been an integral part of the overall build on Yeti, and as such, I felt it would be great to kind of go over some of those specs and details about how it's going to serve us in all our upcoming trips. I will say though, uh, I do apologize for the weather. Um, I thought this spot would be nice and clear with some great stunning views with the mountains as it was yesterday. Uh, but unfortunately we got this kind of low hanging cloud deck that's bringing in some dense fog for us. But nonetheless, we're still gonna go over the video and get you guys some good details and what we can expect with this brand new tent. Um, I will also say and do wanna highlight that uh, iCamper does strive uh, to lead this industry with innovation and as such this brand new tent is a direct result of the hard work and dedication by every member of the iCamper team and with that uh, also the incredible support and feedback from our iCamper community by giving us uh, their thoughts on using the current model tent to make what was a great product even better with this SkyCamp 3.0 and with that, every detail, every nuance, uh, everything that we could think of from hearing uh, that feedback to make this tent as best as possible and make that experience when you guys are out on the trail uh, the best that it can possibly be. So I'm very, very excited to kind of go over some of these specs with you. And before we do, I'm going to go ahead and break down the tent here. And that way we can start uh, the video by looking at everything from the outside in. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and look at the exterior here. Uh, so for starters, the dimensions of the SkyCamp 3.0 Mini is gonna be 57 and a half inches in length, 55 inches in width, and then at the rear here at the highest point, you have 13 inches in height. And the reason why I mentioned that is because when you look at the tent uh, from a side angle, you'll see that it naturally slopes from the front to the rear. And that's just to help with aerodynamic properties while you're driving to help rec uh, reclaim some of those MPGs, which is really good. Uh, the overall weight on this is about 123 pounds. Um, and as you guys can see, one of the most notable uh, features that has been updated on the exterior of the tent here is going to be the brushed metal, which is really nice as far as the badging goes. So those of you who remember from uh, the current lineup uh, has the chrome look with a red uh, lettering. Now it has the brushed metal, which is a really nice accent uh, to the new line of tents. As far as the uh, shell here goes, uh, it is a double layer FRP shell, which uh, not only provides an insulation quality, but it's durable, strong, and lightweight compared to the cheaper alternative of an ABS shell. This particular finish on the shell is called the Rocky Black Finish, and it's uh, like a matte black finish, but it, uh, it's textured similar to like a bed liner. And what that does is it helps with a lot of the trail abrasions when you're driving off road, low hanging branches, things like that, to help cosmetically just uh, withstand that abuse. But also this particular finish is, uh, does help with UV resistance, which is really nice. Um, in addition to that, one feature that I really do like, uh, it's a small update, but I think a lot of people will truly appreciate it is our uh, locking system. So before the clasp used to be underneath the panel, now it's actually on top where the shell is near the key. And what's cool about that is uh, where it actually locks into place. Uh, a lot of the times before, uh, where when it used to be underneath, 
Uh, the spacing between your vehicle rack and being able to get your fingers in used to be difficult and we've kind of taken some note on that by being able to move the position of that have an adjustability feature where the clasp actually goes into and then that way depending on whatever bedding that you have inside you can get that really nice good fit in there as well so a uh, small little detail but very beneficial when you uh, need it most <laughs> i will say also as far as the exterior goes um, the honeycomb aluminum panel and on not only on the main floor but the extension uh, does uh, support a weight of uh, 1.8 tons so very very strong and durable so uh, very sound construction on the tent itself and one thing that i do love about the mini in particular here is how versatile it is you can not only mount it on uh, your compact uh, cars and suvs but also fits perfectly in trucks with like a five foot bed uh, sits really well inside that spacing but then even on your full-size rigs uh, with a larger vehicle rack more real estate on top the tent doesn't take up the entire thing so then you can still have options as far as mounting traction boards storage boxes things like that to really round out your overall build so very very versatile as far as how you want to use it and this is just even looking at it in the closed portion uh, so from here i'm going to go ahead and set it up and uh, we'll kind of go over all the specs in there but do know setup uh, the setup time is still the same of about a minute so we'll go ahead and do that right now and then continue looking uh, towards the inside So one of the most visually uh, engaging things when you first open up the tent as far as what has changed is going to be of course our brand new colors that have changed from the current line of tent to the brand new one here and I'm sure with all the fog that is intermittently coming in and out probably pronounces those colors even more uh, but those are a, a midnight gray, a granite, and a deep burgundy color and what's really nice about the canvas itself is it is a 300 GSM poly cotton canvas. So it's very thick, durable, but most importantly, it breathes. So in those uh, colder weather climates when you're camping, it really helps to mitigate a lot of that condensation. But even more so on the days that you wanna sleep in, uh, it does have blackout capabilities. So the light suppression of that canvas is really nice too. Um, I did kind of experience that a little bit this morning when I was waking up to the sunrise as well. So I uh, know that it does have those properties, which is really nice overall. As far as the Rainfly, it is a 75D rip stop with an eco-friendly uh, water repellent coating on it. What's really nice about the Rainfly as well is that on those hot summer days, you can actually roll it all the way up. There's some toggles at the very top near the shell of the tent, and you can kind of hold it in place right there. So on those hot days, you can allow the tent to ventilate even more, but then have amazing views overall out every window. So uh, those are some of the really nice aspects as far as when you visually first see the tent. Some other small details that have been updated on the tent are the zippers. They're all now a YKK zipper, which are very durable and long lasting. So that's a nice touch on all the windows and front entry door. Also is going to be the ladder. It's a little bit wider angled step, so it's a bit more comfort as well as safety when you're climbing up and down the ladder. And then in addition are gonna be the tension pole receivers. It's a very small detail, but very nice overall when you're actually setting up the tent. And basically that's gonna be where the tension poles for all the windows and the main rain fly uh, go into. So now the location has been changed for ease of use. So when you're inside the tent for the side windows, you can now see and easily access putting in those tension poles for the side windows. And then as well as having more um, ease putting in the main uh, entry door for the rainfly. And then in addition is the weatherproof access panel, which is on the extension panel when you open up the tent. Now you can actually pass cabling through for any electronics while you're inside the tent. So things like lighting or any other electronics that you may need. So there's no need to actually drill through the panel itself or run cabling through the windows. Everything can be done right through that access point, which is really nice. Um, so as far as the exterior, that's kind of some nice updated changes. From here, we're going to go ahead and go inside the tent and see some uh, progress made in there as well.
Well, welcome to the inside of the tent here. Um, as you probably uh, can see, I do have all the windows open for some better light, but our fog is still with us and just kind of getting even more thick and coming in <laughs> as the day progresses. But nonetheless, I wanted to just go over all the aspects here of the inside of the tent. And in full uh, transparency, last night was actually uh, my very first experience sleeping inside the new tent and it was amazing. So. Um, really, really nice of what has been upgraded. Uh, but with that, let's kind of dive right in. The interior sleeping uh, footprint, uh, you do have a dimension of 82 inches in length, 51 inches in width, and then at the very highest point, 46 inches in height. And which is really great because for two people, you can sleep very comfortably. And even with a small pet, you could uh, also have in here and sleep comfortably as well. So plenty of room in that aspect. Uh, one thing that you will notice as soon as you open the main entry door is that the tension pull bag is now adhered or sewed directly to the front entry area. So before there was a bag where all six of the poles used to live and exist. And sometimes that would float around as you open and close the tent and shift in driving. But now it's right where the front door is so you have immediate access so i really like that small detail but just having things more organized and in a specific place which is huge uh, the biggest thing that i think everybody is excited about or will be excited about is the mattress i know that was kind of a frustration point for many as far as just being a little bit too firm the mattress has been upgraded immensely and is incredible um, it's uh, by itself it does now measure in at about 2.1 inches in thickness which is great it also has a nine zone comfort design which is just basically different patterns that are within the mattress itself and just gives you overall better comfort so for myself i'm typically a side sleeper so you really have a lot more comfort points on like the shoulders and hips with that uh, nine zone comfort system which i really really love and then even more so on top of that, the mattress itself does have an insulation layer at the very bottom to help with reducing condensation and provide some thermal properties as well. So a lot going on and that's just the mattress. The mattress cover also has an insulation liner as well to not only help with keeping uh, you warm, but really nice, uh, comfortable and cozy feel overall on top of that quilted pattern design. So. Uh, the mattress has definitely come a long way and I really, really like what they've done to it. And last night I slept pretty darn comfortable. As many of you know, I do use on the prior model, uh, the X-Bed style uh, air mattress. And uh, honestly, I didn't miss it last night. I really didn't. This is pretty darn comfortable, especially for some weekend use. What I do love is um, the windows. The windows have been massively upgraded. Uh, they now have an improved zipper design, allowing you to open two window layers at once. So the privacy layer as well as the bug screen layer. So you can immediately have access outside. Um, you still can open them individually. Uh, so you can have the privacy or the bug one at a time. But if you need to just open them both together, uh, that has now been upgraded as far as the zipper design. I will say in addition to the windows has been the upgraded uh, third layer as far as what is being called the blind system. And this is really cool because if you don't have the tension poles um, in place on your two side windows and you have that third layer unzipped from the inside using uh, this strap here, you can actually just pull down and that third window layer retracts right up just as you would with any other blind system at home. And then you have some toggles to hold it in place and uh, a toggle strap to keep it secure. And that's super cool because if you want, you have immediate views to the outside and access to the exterior of the tent. But in a situation such as myself, when the tent sits uh, low in the bed, I can't necessarily put the tension poles on the side closest to the cab of the truck. So now uh, with that blind system, I can still have access to anything directly out uh, this side of the window. And I really, really like that. It's, it's a very small detail, but uh, goes a long way in just a random amount of situation. So love that feature. It's really cool. And then of course you still have your skylight up here with the two layers of the privacy and then the bug. Um, so you can have a uh, really good light like I am right now, as far as having light inside the tent when you need it. But then of course, closing everything up, you can still keep it nice and dark and uh, have that ability going back and forth. 
Um, of course, also a staple to the iCamper SkyCamp designs is going to be, as you can see behind me, the world map, just providing that sense of adventure, which is awesome. That's been a staple with all the iCamper tents, and I really love that that is still integrated on the uh, back of the shell too. So really nice to still keep that. But speaking of the shell, it actually has been redesigned to allow to store more bedding when you're inside the tent. So it has a new design feature in it. So when you wanna leave things like uh, down sleeping bags and blankets and uh, maybe uh, some aired up pillows or whatever other little random things, you can keep all that inside the tent with a lot more ease and still be able to uh, securely enclose the tent uh, when you're getting ready to pack up and drive away. So I love that aspect. A lot of different things, again, feedback from our iCamper community as far as their use as well on the road has gone a long way to see the upgraded difference in production of this brand new line of tents. So absolutely love it. The interior has come a long way and I think you guys are really gonna enjoy it. Well, all right guys, I hope this video helped break down some of the details and specs of the brand new SkyCamp 3.0 Mini. This particular unit will have an MSRP of $40.49 with an estimated shipping time frame of this spring 2022. Though for more information, not only on this model, but all models that we'll be launching this year, definitely head over to iCamper.com to see more information on when those announcements and shipping will be available. But with that, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. As always, I sincerely appreciate your support. And until next time, safe travels.